EU-China summit via video conference The European Union summit with China was frank and open, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said, stressing however that a lot still remains to be done particularly with regards to access to the Chinese market. The negotiations between the Commission Chief, Council President Charles Michel, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Chinese President Xi Jinping ended with promises to speed up negotiations on an investment treaty before the end of the year. Trade and climate change were the main topics discussed during the summit, held virtually because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But EU leaders stressed that they have also called on Beijing to refrain from unilateral actions in the South China Sea, raised grave concerns about the national security law in Hong Kong and about the alleged persecution of the Uyghur minority. If you find this video to be informative, consider to give the channel a subscribe. I want to hear from you. So leave a comment, like and share. Pressure has been mounting on Europe to stand up more to China especially after it was revealed that an EU report on disinformation had been watered down following diplomatic influence from Beijing. The European Union summit with China was frank and open, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said, stressing however that a lot still remains to be done particularly with regards to access to the Chinese market. The negotiations between the Commission chief, Council President Charles Michel, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Chinese President Xi Jinping ended with promises to speed up negotiations on an investment treaty before the end of the year. Trade and climate change were the main topics discussed during the summit, held virtually because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But EU leaders stressed that they have also called on Beijing to refrain from unilateral actions in the South China Sea, raised grave concerns about the national security law in Hong Kong and about the alleged persecution of the Uyghur minority. Pressure has been mounting on Europe to stand up more to China especially after it was revealed that an EU report on disinformation had been watered down following diplomatic influence from Beijing. Michel praised the summit as another step forward in forging a more balanced relationship with China but also said the EU used the opportunity to raise grave concerns about the national security law in Hong Kong. Democratic voices in Hong Kong should be heard, rights protected, and autonomy preserved. We called on China to keep their promises to the people of Hong Kong and the international community, he said. The law passed by China's top legislature in late June aims to curb subversive, secessionist and terrorist activities as well as foreign intervention in Hong Kong. It has been strongly condemned by human rights organizations and Western countries which have since suspended extradition treaties to the former British territory. Michel also said that the three EU chiefs had reiterated our concerns over China's treatment of minorities in Xinjiang and Tibet, and the treatment of human rights defenders and journalists. We asked for access for independent observers to Xinjiang and we called for the release of the arbitrarily detained Swedish citizen Gui Minhai and two Canadian citizens, he added. Thank you for watching this video.